Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. And of course, I've got the lovely Mrs. Butter with me. I want to get your honest opinion on a pair of Dunkelos. All right. You haven't seen these in hand yet? No. You love Dunkelos? I do. Are you excited? So excited. All right. Well, if you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Valentine's Day Dunk Lows. I recently did a review of Dunks and she heard me talking and I said something to the effect of I was tired of Dunk Lows, like GR Dunk Lows. And she said, so what am I, basic? And that's not it at all. We've got a lot of Dunks. We've seen a lot of dunks. You have, I don't know, what, four or five pair of dunk lows or something? I believe so, yeah. Are they your favorite silhouette? I think so. Yeah, they're just cute. Yeah, I just think they're, like, nice and casual, and they go with, like, most, pretty much anything. And comfortable, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not bad. Yeah. But I think shoes like the 996s and, like, Yeezys, I think those are way more comfortable than Dunks. Do you? Mm, I guess... I, I don't know. I'm not sure. So you saw pictures of these online, but you haven't seen them in person yet, and I really want to get your immediate reaction. I think these are cute. There's one problem that I have with them. I don't know if you'll have any issues with them or not, but I'm really interested in seeing what you say. All right. Don't close the day. So the tag reads Nike Dunk Low V Day for Valentine's Day, of course. Colors are white, team red, and Adobe. I got a women's size seven because that's what she wears. I got these the day they dropped on the Nike app. Just today, I was kind of surprised to see that they have these in stock at my local finish line. So I think most places they've sold out online, but if you want them, check in stores because they might be sitting there. Just speak audibly so that we can hear your impression, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> right. That one's got like a hangy tag on it. Yep. So, this is the first time you're seeing them in hand. What's your immediate thought? I think that they definitely look better in person than okay. on video. Right. Um, the color, like I wasn't so sure about on video because I just felt like it wasn't red, it wasn't pink, but they definitely look have more of a like a dark pink tone to it. Kind of like a salmon pink, I would yeah, say. Yeah, I yeah. I think that's accurate. And I think that's the Adobe color. There was a dunk like that. And it reminds me of like eraser pink, almost. You know yeah. what I mean? Like the yeah. the color of erasers at the end of a pencil. Yeah, yeah. The suede is just so, so soft. It, it, yeah. I think that's done really, really well. I agree. And I love the laces. The ribbons? Yeah, I think that's a really cute touch. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. Yeah. Can you tell offhand what my gripe with them is? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I think they're really cute. So you do think I they're actually, really cute? Yeah, I like them now that I see them and they're in hand. Like what, before I was like, uh, I definitely don't want to keep them, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> now you think you might want to <laughs> keep I them? Now I might want to, yeah. Okay. Getting back to my gripe about them, the only thing that I mind is this base leather. It's synthetic, it's really synthetic, oh. and I just feel like it's going to crease. Not that I'm super anti-creases or anything like that, but it almost creases like a piece of paper, mm -hmm. and it'll make like a real definitive line. And as you said, this suede for the overlays at least this like adobe color or salmon color or eraser pink color it feels premium yeah it, it feels feel really premium. nice it feels like what you would have on a really nice pair of new balances or something like it is a really nice material you get a lot of color change whenever you change the direction i don't know if that comes through sometimes that's hard to get but you get a lot of color shift whenever you change the motion of it and it just feels like a really nice material the swoosh it reminds me of like velvet a velvet dress or something 
yeah. like a Christmas dress that you would have had back in the day or something. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like it just seems like it's velvet or some sort of synthetic material for the swooshes. But I don't mind that. I mean, we typically get synthetic material for the swooshes. Like now that you said that, like I thought it was just leather, but yeah, the more I feel it and look at it, I can, now I can see it. Yeah. yeah, it's like a it's like a velvet material, right? Yeah. Don't you think? I don't, a, I don't know. Or like a, a fake new buck or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't really tell what it is, but I think it's synthetic. It doesn't have the same feel that the pink overlays have. I don't <laughs> mind the swooshes. I like the material. Actually, I love the material that we have for the overlays. However, this base leather, I just wish they would have done something better. Mm -hmm. You know? Like just like a nice real material yeah i think these would have been 10 times better if they would have had a good material for the base leather yeah i mean it still looks good it does look good and two it's not like if you get a little crease in the toe it's not like you say oh i can't wear these anymore yeah. but one of your pairs of dunks is like really creased My up barely green. yeah the yeah. yeah and it's probably just because you've had them well, the longest favorite probably yeah you so, wear those all yeah. the time i wasn't sure how you would feel because you didn't seem very excited about them whenever you saw images of them online or that sort of thing but now that you have them in hand they seem pretty cute and like a shoe you would wear yeah now i have a question what do you think about getting shoes for valentine's day is that a good gift to get your significant other or or do you think getting shoes on valentine's day is pretty lame like if i just got you these I would say, where's my chocolate and flowers? <laughs> See, right, yep. You know me. Maybe even I have a, to have at least some chocolate. Maybe even a little bit of jewelry or something <laughs> yeah. just to throw in. Yeah. I feel like Valentine's Day is always difficult <laughs> because it's right after Christmas and then it's right after our anniversary. Yeah. And we typically go all out for that kind of stuff. So then by the time Valentine's Day gets here, it's like, what am I even gonna get her? Coming from Mrs. Butter, who has been married for over 20 years, it's always a win if you get chocolate and flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? You're what a lot about more me? difficult than me. I don't need anything. I have you, everything. I can't that... get you flowers. You're really not typically like, I mean, you like chocolate, but not like I like chocolate. Yeah, chocolate's all right. Yeah, but. For beef jerky. There we go. I, I do like, it out. I do like. <laughs> Yeah, I do like beef jerky. I like a good dinner. Well, I have everything. I, do that. I know she does. She does. I'm telling you, I wish everybody had a woman like this, but I have it made. As far as flowers go, I'm more into like plants for the yard. Well, that's true. And but that kind of stuff. The winter, honey. Well, and that's true. So I don't know. I mean, I really like outside plants and that kind of stuff. But yeah, for Valentine's Day, all I want is just a decent meal and just to hang out you know okay. i mean i don't know i'm pretty easy don't you think i'm pretty easy <laughs> yeah but for your wife that wants to actually get you something it's difficult sometimes all i need is your company and that's <laughs> oh, okay. that's a gift enough for me you know maybe a little break from the kids mm -hmm. you know for both of us yeah i don't mean you take care of the kids i just mean i mean you do that <laughs> we all love the time you guys <laughs> yeah they don't <laughs> watch they don't watch it anyway <laughs> yeah yeah but i mean just time adult time i value that kind of stuff yeah. and the time with you know what i mean <laughs> all right but anyway now that we have that out of the way i'll go ahead and do the review can you i still can't read very well <laughs> <laughs> i still can't see very well i can read fine <laughs> thanks what does that tag on that shoe say it just basically talks about um the dyeing process it says due to the dyeing process and nature of the suede materials you may experience some minor color bleeding. Do you see any bleeding on the shoes from where the color has gone from the suede to like the white? No, not at all. I don't see it either, no, but it looks really clean and yeah. crisp. They do look really clean and the shape of them is really cute. Sometimes mm -hmm. the toe boxes yeah. don't really match and that sort of thing, but they look pretty much identical. Yeah. But okay, so anyhow, we'll get into the review. It's got a standard tread pattern for a dunk, pivot point in the front, 
Nike branding there at the midfoot. We've all seen it. Very similar to a Jordan 1 tread pattern, but this is in that Adobe color. And as you said, it's almost like a salmon pink, and I think that's very accurate. Salmon eraser pink, right. <laughs> but then coming up to the midsole, we've just got a bright white midsole. It just looks nice and clean, nice and sharp. This is without a doubt my favorite material on the shoe. Just this salmon color that we have for this suede overlay. And we have that on the mug guard, going up the eye stays, wrapping around the heel, and also up here at the heel tab where we've got that burgundy colored Nike branding. And as I've already said, my least favorite thing about the shoe is this synthetic white leather. But like you pointed out, it does look clean. It's very synthetic. It's standard GR Dunk material. So you know what to expect if you've had GR Dunks before. For me, I just feel like all the Dunks are the same. But I, that doesn't mean you're basic if you still like Dunks. I think you look very cute in Dunks. So you can pull them off very well you're far from basic. You can see this white leather here on the toe box where we have the perforations, then for the side panels, and also here on the back where we have those rows of stitching, and I always like that detail. And then the only other material on this upper is this red. I guess this is team red, but to me it looks darker than team red, and I think it feels almost like a velvet kind of material, or maybe just a synthetic new buck or dura buck, whatever you want to call it. But this doesn't feel genuine like this suede for the rest of the overlay. Are you cold? No, I'm good. Isn't it nice out? Yes. I wouldn't mind this for the rest. Chilly. Yeah, the wind is a little chilly. I wouldn't mind this for the rest of winter though. Yeah. Yeah. But I need some snow days. Couple, you need a couple more. You've had a lot of snow but days. But that was all after my break already. I you'll, need some like to space out where we don't have any breaks before like spring break. You'll end like, up going, March. you'll end up having to teach into the summer. No, I won't. Okay. <laughs> and so you heard it here. Even if you're an adult, you're still kind of praying for snow days. Teachers right. definitely pray for snow days, even harder than kids. I, yeah, <laughs> I guess I can understand that. But me working from home, there's no such thing as a snow day, you know? Yeah. I should have picked being a teacher. <laughs> right. <laughs> Times are tough, huh? You really like these ribbon laces? Yes. I like that detail as well. I thought that it might just be a regular piece of ribbon, mm -hmm. but somehow it is like an actual lace. You can tell that it is woven together, but it's got this kind of sheen on it, and it does even feel like a ribbon, but it's thicker than that. So it's not like it'll fray real yeah. quick or anything. I just wonder if they'll stay tied. They <laughs> probably, in. yeah, that'll probably, probably be a booger. You might just have to double knot them. The tongue is a standard dunk tongue. It kind of feels like that nylon or polyester or whatever we're used to getting. It just feels like a normal dunk tongue. And then the piping going along the edges is more of that adobe color. And then for our tag, we have that adobe color and we have team red Nike branding. I love the way those colors look mm -hmm. right up against each other. Yeah. And I think up against the white background, they really are a rich looking color. Yeah, and I like where they put all of the different red accents. Yeah, it's like balanced out very nicely. I think so too. We have the adobe color for the sock liner. For our insole, it's that team red color or Varsity Red, whatever I said at the beginning, and it's got white Nike branding down on it. So that was a quick look at the Valentine's Day Dunk Lows, and we got the lovely Mrs. Butter's opinion on it. So you like this as much as other dunks that you have? Yeah, and plus I don't have any this color, so yeah. So it, <laughs> so it sounds like you just got your first Valentine's Day present, right? Maybe. Yeah, that's fine. You Whatever you want. Without having these on feet, what would you rank them out of a 10? Just based on looks and materials and style, that kind of thing. An 8. An 8. Okay. All right. That's solid. I think that's fair. And for me... I would say they're a six simply because of the synthetic leather on the bottom. Mm -hmm.
but I love the look of them. Yeah. Looks, I would give them a nine, but this leather drops them down. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing this video with me. I always enjoy it. I think our viewers always enjoy it too. I guess I have your first gift, but I need to find you some flowers and some chocolates. Okay. All right, cool. All right. Well, we appreciate you all watching, and we will catch you on the next one. We're out.